Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Beautiful Friday afternoon. Today, we got some unboxing to do. So welcome back again. Um, I ordered a few weeks ago, and it's taken a couple of weeks. It's taken a, about three weeks, I would say, to receive this little package right here. Um, I work with leather and stuff and, uh, um, and I, I needed a better system that was a little bit faster, a little bit easier on my hand, that kind of stuff to sew leather. And there's a project I'm working on right now. Uh, it's where I'm converting a Romanian army, um, shoulder bag, uh, the straps on it. And I'll explain that to you a little bit later. Uh, but, uh, right now I want to, uh, just, uh, open up this package right here. So. Hopefully this is exactly what I what I ordered. I don't know yet. Um, I believe it it is. Um, I ordered it and it ended up coming from well, you know what? I think it came from China, but I don't. I, I get the impression that it's not come from China. I don't know because all the st stickers, yeah, are from are from Switzerland. So I really don't know. We'll find out in just a minute here though. So we're gonna open it up with the old pocket knife here. Cut it cut it open. But damaging anything that's inside should be inside a box actually but we'll see um yeah here we go apparently it's been uh yeah what happened is they did a they did a customs check on it and of course they weren't able to put it back in the box correctly it did come from china so they opened it up and everything typical um they're controlling everything nowadays huh? and so yeah here it is i hope i haven't broken or something <laughs> It's a small little kit. Yeah, it's all together. They haven't even really opened it, I don't think. They just uh, checked a few things out, making sure there's nothing nothing crazy in it. But what it is, and here you can see it a little better. Okay. All right, we'll open this right here up. It's a speed sewer for, uh, for leather and canvas and stuff. And, um, yeah, it comes with the actual sewer the actual hand solar here and then you can what it is you can roll through it so it's unscrewed from the bottom it's not a bad little little idea there it's a metal it's been it's been for, forged i guess and it has a couple of needles in it a longer one and a smaller one yeah a larger one a smaller one okay and uh here you get an idea of of what they look like here if i can get it to focus here and then and then what happens is that this loads into the end of it here. This is tightened. But before you load it through, you actually, you spool up these. You can unscrew, you can screw off this piece right here with the, with the screwdriver it comes with. The screw here. This little, has this right here inside of it. You roll it up with the thread it comes with. It does come with a roll of thread. Uh, and I, this is a wax thread. I have a, I have a good bit of this already. Uh, white and dark it's, and this is a dark one right here and you roll it up you spool it up with this right here and then you run the thread through it and i'll show you how to do it a little bit later and then you just basically punch through you run your thread through it and you pull it out tighten it you do this in the next hole so it's it's something i've needed um i've needed uh and, and i sort of have something that can do that but the problem is that uh, the um, the uh, uh, the the um, the needles are too large for it. So I think these needles right here would probably fit it better. So we'll have to see. And of course, they tend they they're little. You know, it's not the best quality I've ever seen. Okay, I could have ordered this from Finland for about the same price, but it got here much sooner. Um, but um, I don't know if, if it had been a different quality or not, but uh, I got some more investigating to do. But anyway, um, this is it. I'll give you a quick, uh, some faster look at it right here. And the primary thing is that, you know, I can even, I can break this down and carry it with me uh, as a kit when I'm out camping and stuff. So I can always, uh, always be able to, uh, to make repairs on the fly, this kind of stuff, which is very important. 
and this works through heavy canvas and also through uh through uh through leather so um and it go well with my leather kit but anyway that's it a little quick video and um when i start working on the projects on this project i'm working on i'll do some filming and and work and show you how, how it works actually a little better but anyway talk to you very soon take care of yourselves hope you all have a, a happy weekend um and um i look forward to uh to seeing you again next time please give a thumbs up like my video subscribe share and leave a comment down below and remember any questions you may have i'm, I'm planning on making a, Q a q a video in the near future uh so far not very many of you have replied to this so i'd appreciate it if you would anyway uh and um maybe i'm so clear in my in my videos no one has any any questions but um anyway i hope you all have a good day and uh and God bless you. And I'll talk to you very soon. Goodbye. So I begin, <laughs> I begin the sewing process. Um, and I, as you see, I have the strap here. I'm replacing this strap from the cloth, the, the cotton strap that was on here. And here you can see pretty clearly the dark lines. This is where I've sewn so far. There's a bit of a loop in between them. Okay. Now what I've done, this loop you can actually attach something on sideways with another strap or whatever. But what I've done is I've, uh, I used a tool that makes the holes here, which you, you hammer with a, uh, with a hammer. And then I went through with the, uh, now I, <laughs> I broke the first needle because uh, it was, I got it at a bad angle and I broke it. So I have to be, I have to be much more careful. But let's see, it sews, it sews pretty well. What I've done is I've gone through, I've sewn from the corner, run it through, run it through here. And then I've backstitched all the way back to reinforcement. Also, it locks in the thread. Now, the thread's a wax thread, it's, pretty, it's actually quite good. And it's quite strong, it's in there. I mean, this thing, it's pretty solid. But you can put a, you can put in a, uh, little carabiner or something like that in there or between both of them you can you can attach something sideways or this way you have a lot of possibilities with the strap but this is the leather, two leather straps that came with it and i just you can see down here i took off the the cotton strap that was the cotton um strap that was there cut my finger really bad uh messing with it so um the buckles did they're really rusty old buckles and they're not very simple and i thought this looked a lot nicer this way right here so anyway i haven't decided if i'm going to sew this directly here or if i'm gonna go around make a little bit of loop around the back i haven't decided yet what i'm gonna do i think the ultimate thing would be cool is actually do a double loop you know a piece like this right here going across sideways here running this through it running the strap through it and then sewing it on the back side and then what you'd have, you'd have, have the ability to, to put something else in there. See, this is what the this is what the cotton strap that was in it looked like. And man, these things are nasty, man. They really, really cut me um, pretty bad on the finger, and it got infected because it's rusty. So I had to clean up really well and take care of that. But this one on the inside is not nearly as bad as the other one was. But I am going to look at my possibility coming up with something to maybe change that. If you see right here, it also has a another little loop right here metal loop right here you can attach things to on this front side but it's coming along okay it's not that difficult to do um, um it's a pretty easy pretty easy to do with this with this sewing needle that i have and i'm pretty happy with it and yeah like i said it took me a little bit of, a little bit of time to sort of figure it out get used to it but it is coming along okay and and um the work is coming along. Um, I'm just trying to imagine these people when they sewed these things, if they did it by hand or if they did it by machine, uh, because that, that was some work there. It is a bit of work, you know, to do it. But uh, anyway, it's coming along pretty well. And um, I'll come back with you a little bit later. Welcome back, everybody. Um, I just finished it. <laughs> I say I finished it. With this um, setup right here, you see I used... Almost all the cord is a little bit left there. You know, it's, it's a wax string, wax thread. And, um, yeah, so 
this is it. I show you what I did. I attached with the thread up here. Okay, I made a loop here. So you can always pass something else through there if you want to. Sort of like these loops here, okay? But uh, And I doubled up. I sewed one direction and turned around and came back, okay? And then on the bottom, I did the same thing, okay? I was going to put a loop across and make this longer, but I realized, you know what? I think this would be fine the way it is. I think it'll look better also. And yeah, so I'm going to fill it up and give you a better look at it. So I filled it up, give you a better look, a better idea of, of how, how the finished product looks. Okay, here you can get a, a better idea of it. I think it looks pretty good, this bag does. A really nice bag, well put together. Um, yeah, I mean, it's divided up this bag is, so you have a seam in the middle, you have a small area, which is great for a three uh, uh, a one liter Nalgene bottle or something like that. And, a, and then you have the other space over here. You can add things to it. You can easily attach things on the bottom here. And what I also like, you can, if you wanted to, you could run, let's see, I have some extra straps here. You can run um, other items on this bag to, to give it, I mean, I, I don't suggest carrying a, a, you know, too heavy a setup and these kind of things. But what you can do is that if you wanted to, you know, add something to it, I mean, you could easily put an ax on this thing right here. Or if you wanted to, you can run uh, a strap like this right here. And then here you could easily attach something else, you know, to it. So you have a lot of these little loops right here are formed by the way I sewed it. And then you can do the same thing at the top also. And even here you can, like I said, you could put in, carry an ax on this right here. Here's a small ax right here. You can attach it so you have a loop here so you have your axe here or you can add other things to it you know something even on the back on the outside even maybe a, a little small bedroll or something so whatever whatever you need to use it for but uh i finished this project i like it now what i'm going to do now is i'm going to uh use some snow seal on all the leather on it to get it nice and softened up um i've been using it on some other items that i have and it's really uh, making the leather feel so much more comfortable to touch. Um, it's much more soft. It doesn't make so much of that creaking noise that leather makes. And yeah, it's, it's looking good. So I'm going to do that to finish it up. And, uh, and see, I don't think I need to do anything else to it. This bag is a pretty good bag the way it's set up, you know. Um, I think it'd be nicer if it had maybe a leather strap on top. But you know what? The way it's set up, it's pretty good, okay? Uh, I can also always reinforce these right here with um, with rivets, but I don't think it's necessary for the moment. I'll try it out the way it is, and if I see there's a problem, then I can always add to it. But anyway, this is the bag. It's the Romanian uh, shoulder bag for the Romanian Army from the from the well from the early 70s and 80s actually I believe, and I, like I said, I took off the the straps, the cotton straps over here because. Um, they just weren't very, they weren't very comfortable to use, not very, they don't look aesthetically nice. I think this looks nice. Now, of course, I did this backwards right here. I could have made this longer and, and then put the buckle on the bottom, but I like this the way, I like this a little bit better. And for me getting into it, it's a little, it's a little easier too. You know, I can set it down like it's right here and then I can pop it open this way right here. To me, it's a little bit easier to get into. So I, I prefer it. The way it is but i'm gonna wax it up get it looking a little nicer and then i'm gonna start using it okay and uh if you see it on the website it's because i decided that uh, you know what it's so good uh that i think i should pass it on to somebody because these things happen too <laughs> i'm always trying something out new but anyway so i want to thank you all for coming to the channel i'd really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up leave your comments down below hit the notification button and um you know, subscribe to my channel and please pass it around, pass the news around. Um, trying to get a bigger following. Um, you know, as you know, I have my business attached to this, HelvetiaBushcraft.ch. So check out the website and uh, yeah, keep following me. And I really appreciate all of your uh, your kind words and, and comments that you guys have made to me. And uh, I want to thank you all. Take care of yourselves and have a good weekend. Goodbye.